हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सेकंड जनरेशन टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज कॉमनली नोन एज 2G 2G स्टैंड्स फॉर सेकंड जनरेशन सेलुलर वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम सेकंड जनरेशन वाज डेवलप्ड फॉर डिजिटल वॉइस कम्युनिकेशन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट 1G व्हिच इज फर्स्ट जनरेशन which was using analog voice communication in case of 2G it uses digital voice communication with the development of 2G it enabled services like text messages which is sms short messaging services it also enabled picture message and multimedia message which is mms here mms stands for multimedia messaging service The second generation technology was commercially launched on GSM standard in Finland in the year 1991. So it was first launched in the year 1991 in Finland for commercial purpose and it was using GSM standard. The GSM services is used by 2 million people across 212 countries and territories. So these GSM services is used by 2 million people the gsm standard which was used in 2g technology makes international roaming very common between mobile phone operators so which means with the development of second generation it made international roaming very common the second generation technology can be divided into two standards that are based on the type of multiplexing that is used first one is tdma and second one is CDMA TDMA and CDMA we have already discussed in our previous lectures so you need to remember second generation used two types of multiplexing techniques which is TDMA as well as CDMA the second generation make use of codec which is compression and decompression algorithm codec stands for compression and decompression algorithm for compressing and multiplexing digital voice data so codec was used for compressing and multiplexing the digital voice data for communication here the second generation cell phone units are very much smaller compared to first generation cell phone units so in the first generation the cell phones were very much in bigger size so in second generation the cell phone units are smaller compared to first generation unit so if we say the cell phone units are very smaller compared to the first generation then we can say it emits less radio power as well as it consumes less battery power so this is the advantage of second generation cell phone units so it uses digital coding technique that improves voice clarity and reduces the noise so digital coding technique was used in second generation that improved the voice clarity as well as it reduces the noise and also it uses encryption that provide secrecy and safety so secrecy which means there was security between the voice calls that are used in second generation and it provided safety of the calls there are three major 2g systems that were evolved first one is is 136 which is dams which is digital amps second one is is 95 which is cdma and third one is global system for mobile which is gsm here let us discuss dams and gsm we have already discussed about cdma in our previous videos so first let us understand dams so here d amps is a digital version of amps which we have understood in first generation so that's why it is known as d amps so here d represents digital digital amps that is used in 2g technology this d amps is backward compatible with amps so which means so whatever technology that are compatible with amps that will be compatible with the d amps also so that's why we can say it is backward compatible and also whatever devices that are used in amps we can use in d amps also so we can say d amps is backward compatible with amps so it will use the same bands and channels that are used by 
AMPS. So DMs will use the same bands as well as channels that are used by AMPS. DMs uses frequency reuse factor of 1 by 7.25 frames per second. So frames we have understood in our previous video which is nothing but the packet of data which consists of both start bit, stop bit and control bits along with the data. So the DMs uses the frequency reuse factor of 1 by 7.25 frames per second. So here each frame is of 1944 bits. So which means each frame will be having 1944 bits and each frame is divided into 6 slots. So a packet of data or each frame will be divided into 6 slots and it is shared by 3 channels. Here each slot has 324 bits. So each slot will be having 324 bits. This 324 bits consist of 159 bit of data, 64 bit of control and 101 error correction bits. So each slots will be having 324 bits. These 324 bits consist of 159 bits of data, 64 bits of control and 101 bits of error correction bits. Here DMs uses both TDMA and FDMA. So as you can see in this diagram, DMs uses both TDMA as well as FDMA. So this portion of the diagram is similar to AMPS which we have seen in the first generation technology. So only difference is whatever voice signals we are getting from the user that will be digitized and that is given to a TDMA. Here TDMA will be allotting the frequency bands into different time slot and each user will be given a different time slot for communication. So output of TDMA is given to QPSK. So here as you can see each slot will be having 324 bits. So output of TDMA is given to QPSK that is uh, in turn given to FDMA for further processing. So from FDMA as we have discussed it will use 25 megahertz band for uplink as well as downlink communication. Now let us understand GSM. GSM is an European standard that replaced first generation. So GSM is a European standard that replaces the first generation. So it uses digital cellular radio network. So GSM uses digital cellular radio networks and it operated in three different frequencies. 900 megahertz frequency, 1800 megahertz frequency and 1900 megahertz frequency. So GSM is used in three different frequencies. 900 megahertz is used by original GSM system. So 900 megahertz frequency is used by the original GSM system. 1800 megahertz is used to support growing number of subscribers. So to support the growing number of subscriber 1800 megahertz frequencies are used. So 1900 megahertz is used in US. So it is used in United States. In a GSM each voice channel is digitized and compressed to 13 kbps so that it can be easily transmitted. So the voice channels are first digitized then it will be compressed to 13 kbps. The GSM combines both TDMA and CDMA technology. So it used both TDMA as well as CDMA technology. So GSM technology is used by 76% of users worldwide. So it is the most used technology where 76% of users worldwide uses GSM technology. Now we need to understand the architecture of GSM that we will discuss in our next video. So this is about 2G technology. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.